Hey, what is up everybody? This is Matt with the Hardcover Comic, and today I got a really cool custom buying haul that I'm excited to show you guys, so stay tuned. Alright everybody, welcome back, and uh, before we begin, just a couple quick housekeeping things. Number one, uh, be sure to subscribe. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers right now, and we'd really love that extra push to hit that number. Uh, so please make sure that you like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Not only that, but we are also affiliates and brought to you by Dr. Squatch, uh, which is an amazing 100% all-organic natural soap that I am a subscriber to and I have been for months. Uh, they have really funny uh, social media channels and they provide, you know, and make a really amazing product. And if you want to check out that product, go ahead and click on the link down in our description below there and you are going to get... Uh, free shipping for the life of your subscription. So it's a really good deal. I know Mike wants to try it, but shipping to Canada is a bit much. Uh, so if you're in the US, it's free shipping for the life of your subscription. It's a really great deal, a really amazing product, and your significant other is gonna like the way you smell when you step out that bath. Not only that, but we also have our Patreon. If you go to patreon.com forward slash the hardcover comic, uh, you can donate as little as $1 a month, and that's going to get you into drawings for, you know, books that we're going to do every month. We're doing drawings every month. This month we did, uh, we made enough that we did the Harleen Deluxe hardcover, uh, and Surf and Skate won that. So congratulations to Surf and Skate. We are, you know, getting that book ordered for you. I don't know how long it's going to take, unfortunately, due to the whole, you know, COVID thing and things being backlogged. But once we get it, we're going to do a review of the book, and then I personally will be shipping that book out to you. So congratulations again to Surf and Skate. Uh, for every dollar, though, that you donate, you get an entry into our drawing. So the more you donate, the more entries you get. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good deal. So please be sure that you check us out there on Patreon as well. Uh, the more Patreon subscribers we have, the more bigger and cooler books that we can order, the more books we can order, and you know, the more that people can win. So that's what we're really uh, looking forward to doing. It's, it's, it's going to be a good time. Uh, ask any of our Patreon subscribers that we currently have. We're interactive. We try to we give away digital codes. It's a good time. So anyways, moving on to the actual haul here, the actual overview that I want to discuss. You guys already know what it is. You guys saw the thumbnail that I made. It's none other than West Coast Avengers, okay? Uh, but this is a five-volume set that I bought from a gentleman by the name of Kevin. So first of all, huge shout-out to Kevin for the amazing deal that he gave me on these books. Uh, if it wasn't for the deal that he gave me, I probably, I don't know if I'd have them. Uh, I literally paid $25 a book. Um, it was such a great deal. I could not pass it up. Uh, so a huge shout out to Kevin. Thank you very much, sir. These are going into good hands. And Mike and I are actually going to be doing it in, uh, a custom DJs for these. I have an idea for a five volume connecting spine that I think might turn out pretty cool. Uh, Mike's going to give it a crack and, and, and see what happens. So we're pretty excited about that. Well, at least I am. Mike's probably dreading it. <laughs> uh, but if you're interested in doing, you know, a custom DJ yourself, hit up Mike at the hardcover comic at gmail.com. He only charges a $10 flat fee because he likes doing it. He's not out to make a ton of money on you. Uh, he just really enjoys designing DJs in his spare time. Uh, just don't make it too hard on him. He's a good guy, though. He has some really cool ideas. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump right in then, shall we? So first of all, we have West Coast Avengers Volume 1, which is going to collect the Hawkeye Mini 1 through 4, the West Coast Avengers Mini 1 through 4, and then West Coast Avengers Technically Volume 2, uh, 1 through 16. Now, these do not have any of the tie-ins or anything like that. I know there's like some Vision uh, books, a Vision of Wanda books that tie in, and uh, I think maybe the main Avengers title ties in at some point throughout the series, and there's there's no tie-ins. This is just the straight series with the annuals in it, um, and you know what? That's okay. I like it that way. I collect the same way. I don't really ever add in tie-ins to my custom binds either. So if I do feel like I'm kind of lost in a story where I'm like, oh, well, what happened here? I'll just read it digitally and, and get caught up on that. But um, so the uh, it initially starts off with Roger Stern writing, and then once you know Volume Two uh, comes into play, it then is Steve Englehart uh, with Al Milgram and Joe Sinnott on art. Um, and the thing is about this book is the art is phenomenal throughout. Obviously, it changes artists uh, multiple times. Obviously, throughout the hundred and two issues, but as you guys can see. 
the art is really solid and it's kind of what I call almost a lost art at this point. I mean, this is like real pencil and ink, you know, this isn't some digital thing done on a computer. So this is, uh, you know, I don't know. There's something about the eighties and nineties that I just, I really love the art style. Um, so I'm super, super stoked to have, you know, a classic run in this. Now there are official omnibuses that are out. There's the official West Coast Avengers omnibus volumes one and two, uh, followed by the John Byrne Avengers omnibus, which is technically West Coast Avengers omnibus volume three. Those ones do have the tie-ins to them. Um, and they are, you know, the official omnibuses, but that's all they collect. So that you're missing out on basically issues like 60, seven or something i don't remember what it was but like through 102 like you don't have those issues collected in omnibus format they do collect them in trade paperback format so it is possible to get them through trade paperbacks for the most part uh the trade paperbacks don't collect every issue there are like a handful of missing issues here and there but for the most part you can collect the whole run in trade paperback form otherwise you gotta buy the singles and get them custom bound like this or get really lucky and find someone selling them like i did uh, volume two is 17 through 41. And as you guys can see, these are bound in blue buckram cloth. Uh, and then it's got the blue and white headbands and tailbands with the ribbon bookmark, which I am a sucker for. And it was the main reason why I bought these. Uh, just kidding. Uh, it was just an added bonus. But, uh, I will say that the construction and the binding on these is really solid. And they would, I would even say that they're comparable to Housh and Bindery or even Herring and Robinson. Um, it was actually done by Waco Library. Uh, they are no longer around, uh, but these were done years ago um, when they were around. Um, so, but I would say the, the quality on these is, is really solid. Um, so starting in with uh, issue one, you get Moon Knight added in. So the story, I haven't read it all. I'm, I'm very excited to dive in, but from what I have read and from what I do know about the West Coast Avengers run is that Vision wanted to expand. Vision really wanted the, the Avengers to expand out, so therefore he tapped Hawkeye, said, hey, you're going to be you know, the new leader of this West Coast Avengers team. Um, Hawkeye really gets his chance to shine where, I mean, you guys have seen the Avengers movies. Hawkeye, not so much, right? But in this one, he really gets to shine. He really gets to be the leader and he builds his team. And so it's, you know, Hawkeye, Mockingbird, Wonder Man, Tigra, uh, Hank Pym makes an appearance in there, you know, and he kind of sort of becomes Iron Man, Sort of. It's actually, spoiler alert, Jim Rhodes is Iron Man. Um, and then later on, apparently Tony Stark does join as Iron Man. Uh, and then later on, War Machine, you know, Jim Rhodes comes back as War Machine and he joins. Um, you know, Scarlet Witch, Vision, Moon Knight. There's just tons of appearances and things throughout. You know, U.S. Agent. There's a huge epic battle uh, between U.S. Agent and Hawkeye in one issue that's really cool. Uh, Captain America comes in. There's just, a, there's a, you know, the Fantastic Four make appearances, uh, you know, Submariner, Submariner, whatever you want to call him, you know, he makes appearances in it. It's, it's really cool to, to kind of see. So, uh, volume three is 42 through 62. So this is actually going to be the start of John Byrne. So like I said, John Byrne uh, Avengers, which is basically West Coast Avengers volume three, uh, starts off with John Byrne's issue on 42, which is where he then took over the book. Um... Uh, for writing duties, but as you can see new, you know, new creative team yet. The art is still really stellar and I really love that. And the other thing too, that I really love about, um, these custom binds is the awesome ads that you get to see, you know, this reminds me of my childhood and really kind of takes me back. And so seeing like these old tiger ads, I'm like, Oh yeah, I remember having those tiger, you know, handheld games, especially double dragon. That one was probably my favorite. Um, that one or Castlevania. That one was also really good. Uh, you know, so it's just, it really kind of takes me back with these articles, which is another reason why I absolutely love uh, custom vines, because it, it, these ads are like almost like a time capsule. Um, so, like I said, though, as you can see, like this art is just really stellar. It's really good art throughout. So... If you don't want to collect them in this way or what have you, and you're, I mean, you're not going to get the whole series, but I, I would recommend picking up, granted they're out of print and they're a little bit more expensive to find, but you can pick up West Coast Avengers Volume 1 and 2 and then John Burns Avengers Volume 3. It's not titled Volume 3, it's just John Burns Avengers. Uh, but yeah, so it's a, it's a really great deal it, with really solid art and, and things throughout. 
Uh, volume four is going to collect 63 through 85. And West Coast Avengers, it's it's a funny story. I mean, well, it's not always funny, but there's a lot of underlying humor to it. Um, not only that, but there's also a lot of drama. It's very soap opery. It's almost like a male comic book soap opera. Um, you know, you killed him. You did this. Da da da. The Phantom did this to me. Uh, there's. I mean, it's a it's it's a soap opera, but at the same time, it has. A fun underlying humorous feel to it, you know, um, that that makes the book fun and entertaining, you know, from what I have read. For those of you guys that grew up when I did, right there, that Punish. Oh, let me see. Look, there we go. That Punisher right there. Yes, I used to play that game all the time. Uh, so it's just things like that that just really kind of take me back. And I love, love, love this version of Hawkeye. Okay, like that. Or is that one the life model decoy? Spoiler alert. Uh, but I love that that version of Hawkeye. That's the one I grew up with. That's the one that when I would go to, you know, the, the bowling arcades back in the day and I would play the Avengers arcade game. That's the one, man. That's how I grew up with Hawkeye. I think he looks the best in that costume and, and I absolutely love it. So... And then Volume 5. All right, so Volume 5 is going to collect 86 through 102 and then the annuals. And so that is the complete run. And again, you're going to have different... Uh, Roy Thomas actually took over writing duties for the last half of it quite a bit. Um, so you got, you know, classic Roy Thomas in there, which hopefully I'll be meeting him um, in August, fingers crossed. Uh, which, if that is the case, I am going to have him sign this volume because he did do a lot of the writing in it. Uh, but again, the art is just awesome throughout. Like, there's no page where you're like, oh, that art sucks. Like, it's just, it's great stuff all throughout. The Marvel What If Trade, the Crunch and Munch, that's a, that's a huge, uh, it's a huge thing for me going back in the day. Super cool. Like I said, it's like going through a, you know, a time capsule. It's, it's really neat. But uh, so there you guys have it. West Coast Avengers. Uh, as soon as I get the official dust, not official, uh, the custom dust jackets made and printed, I will be sure that I do, you know, some more overview stuff or maybe even post them to Instagram. So that way you guys can see the design ideas that I had and then the ideas that Mike came up with and what he did with them. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, please let us know below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate all the support. We appreciate all the love. Uh, I'll have some more haul videos coming up here shortly. Um, I'm kind of stuck at home, so I've just sort of been randomly buying stuff. I, I'm getting amazing deals that I can't pass up. But So I'll have some more haul videos coming up for you guys for that as well. And uh, until next time, the power is yours.